This is the third version of uh, reversing of a strings problem. In first version, we reversed the entire string. In the second version, we reversed the string in uh, sizes of k characters. And in this version, we are reversing the words of the string. And in this string, the words are separated by single space. So this is one word, w1. This is w2, do. This is w3. So you will reverse W1. So let's becomes L E T S. D O becomes O D. And this coding is also reversed. And uh, the sequence or the order of words is still same. So let's denote it with W1 prime or W1 bar, W2 bar, W3 bar. So the order, order is same, but we reverse the words. So how we will do that? Uh, again, uh, we will start from beginning. We will have a left pointer and uh, we will keep right here only. So while left is less than string dot length. We will do what we will do uh, again while right is less than s dot length and the character at that position is not space. So till we don't find a space or till we reach the end of the string, we keep incrementing R. So when will this stop? So initially L and R both are here pointing to L. So when R comes here, it finds a space. So this loop will end this inner loop. And here L is pointing to this beginning and R is pointing to one position behind the word so we will reverse it reverse s dot begin plus l and s dot begin plus r so we have reversed the first word and after reversing what we need to do we need to move left here to the next character so r was pointing to the space when this loop exited so now L should be equal to R plus 1 and R should be equal to L. So now both L and R are pointing here just like they were together here. Again we will, uh, so this loop will continue. It will check if uh, left is less than string dot length or not. If it's that then we will try to find uh, a space or the end of the string. So again R will come here and this loop will end. We will reverse this part and again uh, L and R will come here. Both will point to capital C and again we will repeat this logic but this time this uh, loop will end because of this. So when this R comes here after G then this loop will end and we will reverse it and then L will come here one even more one position more than g so g plus 2 so it will see that it's more than length now so it will end so this way we will do the reversing so let's write the code for this in c plus uh, plus by the way what is the time complexity here here again we are doing uh, one scan of this string and this reversal will take linear time whatever is the number of characters again this one and this one so we never traverse the string multiple times. We are doing just one pass of the string. So time complexity is order n. And we can reverse uh, the string which is given to us. So we will not require any extra space. So space will be order 1. So till we encounter the end of the string or a space character we keep incrementing this write index 
and uh, once this loop exits we have found l and r are pointing to the beginning and one character beyond the word so we will reverse them and finally we will return this reversed word wise reversed string so let's submit and the solution is accepted in C++. So you can try the same approach in Java and Python. This would be pretty simple. And if you don't have a ready-made reverse function like C, then uh, do that swapping thing. So left is here, right is here. Swap them, then increment left, decrement right. And uh, take another variable instead of modifying this initial left and right so that all the other logic remains same only you create two more indices i and j i is pointing to l j is pointing to r so you swap i and j i plus plus j minus minus until they cross each other so that way they will get reversed and then uh, you repeat the logic for l and r